In this video, we are going to be talking about my everyday carry and what I bring with me whilst traveling. So I have been on the road for just over two months now. And in this video, what I wanna do is openly and honestly show you what I bring with me in my everyday carry, my EDC, if you will. So I don't wanna to waste too much time. I just wanna get into the bag, show you what bag I use and what's inside. So first off, the bag that I use is the Brevity Jumper Backpack. Now, last year, Brevity reached out to me, but in no way am I being sponsored or do I need to say any good things about this bag. I just like this bag. And what I like most about it is that it just looks like a backpack. It doesn't look like a camera bag. I also didn't choose this color. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it is more kind of a greeny grayish kind of color. But I like the color that they gave me and yeah, I'm happy with it. But what's really great about this bag is the functionality, the protection it serves, and how it's small enough for me to just carry around in a warmer climate like Vietnam, which is where I am now. So as a photographer and a filmmaker, um, the big priority for me is can I put my camera and my lenses in this backpack. Now, as you can see, there is a front pocket which opens up and you can store, you know, your everyday things, but there is another zip that comes around and that opens up the camera cube case, which is where you'll find all my camera gear. But you can find quick access on the side which if I pull this up here, you'll see this is where it reveals one of my cameras. But first, let's dig into the cameras that I bring with me. Now, as you can see, the first camera I have on me daily is the Fujifilm X-Pro3. What I love most about this is it is built like a tank. It is weather sealed and I just love the optical viewfinder. This is such a fun feature in the Fujifilm X-Pro3. And one of the reasons I still hang on to this camera, it's just a pleasure to use and just a great camera to take out with me and uh, you know go shooting. I also like to attach this camera with a wrist strap. This is quite a cheap one that I found online but um, I do use other wrist straps and I just purchased the Peak Design wrist strap which you can see here. The lens that is on there at the moment because I bring two lenses with me in my everyday carry is the Sigma 56mm f 1.4. I love this lens because it does remove me from a scenario, a scene, a subject. And as I spoke in a previous video about being an introvert, this allows me to be a little bit kind of incognito, out of the way, a little bit more discreet when taking photos. This lens is phenomenal. I'm going to make a video about this soon, so stay tuned for that. My only con, which I will explain, in that video is that there is no aperture ring so but it is an affordable lens and you can't get everything you want that's the setup at the moment and the second lens that i have on me is the tt artisans 27 mil f 2.8 and this is their first autofocus lens this lens is amazing for the price point i really don't mind carrying around this lens as i've said in previous videos if anything were to happen if it were to be damaged, broken, smashed, I wouldn't be too heartbroken because I'd probably go out and buy another one. This was given to me by TT Artisans, but I love it so much that I would probably go out and get myself another. It has bags of character, and I really do think that if you haven't tried, heard, watched any videos on this lens yet, go check some of them out. I have some on my channel. So that is the main camera and the two lenses I bring for my everyday carry and that is probably more as a photographer than a filmmaker um, when i am filmmaking i do have more equipment and i will be bringing a bigger bag and if you'd like me to make a video on that then let me know in the comments i'd be more than happy to go through my bag which is just beside me here and and you know go through that so the second camera that i usually bring with me at the moment is the very much in demand dji osmo pocket 3 so far, this is my favorite camera of 2024. Now, if you are a vlogger, someone who is traveling, someone who needs brilliantly quick, great footage, then the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is probably the camera for you. But it is extremely hard to get hold of from what I've heard 
of recent times. I was lucky enough just to pick this up before I went traveling and it really has changed the game of what I was going to bring to what I have now. So this comes with me everywhere. If I need to grab a little bit of footage or speak to the camera and vlog about what has just happened, etc, etc, this is this is the camera I go to. Everything I'm mentioning in this bag, I probably have made a video on. So if you want further information about what's going in, go check out my channel. Uh, I like to review all the stuff that I have and give you some advice on what maybe you should choose. But uh, an essential, I went for the creative combo by the way. So that comes with the mic and it also comes with a tripod and a battery pack attachment. So you've can also so you can attach it like so and make this even longer so it, it makes it so much more easier to vlog with so yes essential bit of gear i don't know how i would have got through most of my content creation without this little setup and it has sped up my workflow incredibly so um yeah a big plug for this thing now as a photographer filmmaker content creator i need to have my laptop. So most days here I will hire a bike or a push bike and I will head to a coffee house and you know edit a video, edit some photos, edit some work for clients, all that kind of stuff and I have to have my laptop with me. So what's great about it, this bag is there is a compartment for that too. Now a top tip I'd like to give is if you don't want to pay a stupid amount of money for a laptop case. I have been able to get a kind of bubble wrap, something that probably was sent to me and it fits perfectly with my MacBook. So I have the latest MacBook Pro. I needed something fast and reliable when on the road and I needed to be quick. And this is a great tool, a filmmaker and photographer's dream to work with. It's so intuitive, so quick, so powerful. And I mean, sadly I am an Apple boy and I, I do most of my work on, on my MacBook. So this essential bit of gear and that goes just in the top. Now for transparency, which I really don't think enough people talk about is that you need to have your charger with you if you have your MacBook and I obviously have the charger for the MacBook Pro and you know it's a big thing and takes up a lot of room but I also have a, an adapter. This is quite chunky and big as well but it does have universal kind of adapters all built in. It has a type C charging port and four USB ports too so it's pretty um, adaptive, pretty universal but if you put them together it's pretty chunky. Putting that in my bag is something I don't always really want to do, but it is essential because if I'm working on, say I work on Final Cut Pro X, then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna pull on my battery quite a bit. You know, I'm gonna end up only working maybe about an hour before I run out of juice. So obviously I bring cables and headphones and all of that kind of stuff. I think those things go without saying, but if you want to know, then there you are. I also use SSDs and I keep about four of them all in here. One's for client work, one's for past history from back home if I need to grab like b-roll material and um, you know a couple of more are for just on the go when I'm out here because I've been grabbing so much stuff I just need a lot of memory and I keep them again all in a kind of bubble wrap kind of case. I'm quite protective of my gear and I want to make sure even though it is well padded this um, brevity bag I really don't want to take any chances and also it keeps it just together so now I'll just show you a few little extras that I bring which I found really helpful and important so I don't bring this every time because I kind of leave this uh, maybe in my pocket or my sling bag but I do have in here at the moment no lie, I have my Ricoh GR3X. I've just made a video about this a week ago and this is possibly the only camera you need for traveling. That's a very bold statement, but I love this thing. I wasn't blown away with it at the start, but this has become my one little treasure trove. It takes absolutely stunning photos and honestly, it just is always on my person, whether I am literally just going out with my 
the phone this will sneakily get into my pocket it will it will be with me somewhere so i didn't even really i kind of forgot that was in here but this was in the front and like i said it's just it's an important bit of gear to me at the moment i really love this thing one thing i've bought out here i bought this was when i was in thailand was just a little note Book. This was so cheap as well. Instead of buying one of those kind of fancy field notes, I bought myself a little pen. And this is where I write all my notes, video ideas, and blogs in this little uh, notepad. I'm nowhere without this thing. I am a person that does need to write stuff down. I'm pretty old school, and you know, if it ain't broke, hey. Also have AirPods. Um, I use this more for music and using my phone. I use wired headphones for work. Um, I, I find sometimes having this in my head for too long, you know, doesn't feel too, too good for me. One of my most recent purchases and one of my most favorite things is this little Joby tripod. This is a tripod for your phone and it is fantastic. It kind of comes out as an attachment there, this little attachment tripod, and you just pull it up and you can attach your phone just on here. It is an incredibly small, compact little device and it's so actually hardy it's like it's pretty tough and you can see here look it really folds together nicely and it's perfect for just plopping it in your bag and, and being on your way anything else is i've got well just some vietnamese money anyway the last thing left to show you really is um there's a side pocket on the side and if I am on a moped or a bike, I will just keep my phone in there just for safety. It, it can, you know, things can always slip out of your pocket. So it's good to put your phone somewhere secretive and somewhere safe. So that's a really good little feature about this bag, um, which I'm very fond of. Now, as you can tell, I haven't really talked about the top part. I don't really have anything in here apart from some sunglasses at the moment. I'll just keep anything in there like clothes, hat. It's just for my personal use, the top bit. Um, nothing's in there at the moment, as I said. There is another zip at the top if you want extra security. I think I've just got a pen in there at the moment, but if you want to put, keep something there safe, then you know, that would be great. And on the side here, there's a really good pouch to put like a water bottle or anything. This bag is made really well and is very functional. But like I said, the best thing about the Brevity Jumper backpack is that it just doesn't look like a camera bag. I have brought my low pro camera bag with me here. And yeah, I mean, most photographers, filmmakers, they, they will know about that kind of backpack. It's so famous, but it has all the bells and whistles that you need to you know put your stuff in. But that's why I brought this backpack and that's what I really love about it. And the functionality is obviously made for photographers, which is a really great thing. But if I want, I can also you know fold out the cube and use it just as a backpack. I don't have to use it as a camera bag, um, but I always have a camera on me, so it's pretty useful for me in that regard. I have had some questions about this backpack and yeah, it is pretty uh, padded. It's pretty comfortable to wear. In a warmer climate like Asia, you could get quite sweaty because it doesn't breathe that well, but it is water resistant. It's not waterproof. I think they get those two terms kind of wrong. I wouldn't chuck it in the sea. I mean, it's not waterproof, but that's still a good little feature. And that just means that your stuff is going to be protected to some degree, especially if it starts raining outside and you know, you're on your bike and you got nowhere to go. Anyway, this was just a quick update after two months of traveling around Southeast Asia and kind of now in a rhythm of what I bring on the daily. And yeah, and I thought it would be smaller, but because I bike to a coffee shop every day, I tend to bring this backpack over something like a sling. I just need a few more things and unfortunately it's not gonna fit in the sling bag. But I'm also happy to go through my minimal EDC if you're interested so let me know in the comments below i hope this has helped and if you're thinking of traveling yourself and you want further future updates about photography filmmaking whilst traveling let me know um i'm going to be making some more videos about it anyway but if you like anything specific please drop it in the comments i'd love to share my experiences with you and see if i can help anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one